Okay, so our IRU 600 was introduced in 2009. We've introduced uh, several iterations of the product over the intervening years. And the new extra high power amplifier option on IRU 600 is the latest, the latest development. So this is the IRU 600 here. It's a two rack unit indoor radio. It contains two transceiver plug-in units. So you can configure a fully protected terminal in just these two rack units. So this incorporates the extra high power amplifier inside to give you that uh, very, very high transmit output power. Now you can see here it's coupled with our Eclipse intelligent node unit. So it's a highly modular indoor unit, can be equipped with a, a number of different interface cards to allow you to carry uh, TDM traffic as well alongside uh, high quality carry ethernet uh, IP transport. So our IRU 600 is our most successful indoor radio that we've ever produced. Uh, we've, be, we've shipped uh, well over 20,000 units in the last uh, three or four years. Uh, it has some significant innovations built into the architecture in terms of its very compact design. It has a very, very advanced antenna coupling unit uh, where you connect the uh, antenna waveguide directly to the to the unit, all the uh, all the filtering and uh, antenna combination is all done in this very very compact uh, sub module here. Uh, so overall, you don't need very very much uh, very much rack space to accommodate this this radio. Some of the other things uh, that you can do with the the higher power of the EHP um, with those extra dBs. Uh, that allows you to potentially use 11 gigahertz band instead of 6 gigahertz uh, to go over the same path distance, carrying an equivalent amount of capacity. But then at 11 gigahertz, you can use a smaller antenna. Uh, the FCC antenna limitations uh, are 2 foot at 11 gigahertz instead of 3 foot at 6 gigahertz, meaning that you can save on that uh, antenna size and again lower the cost of leasing that tower space. Uh, Extra high power also could allow you to avoid having to deploy space diversity on longer paths. Um, so that again, that saves you an, a whole antenna on both ends of the link. So that could be a significant cost saving uh, if you can avoid deploying space diversity.